Hey guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to cover five steps to saving money fast. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to cover how to save money quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is going to look at some money Bible verses. So the first one I wanted to look at was um, Matthew 6, 21. And it says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Now, when you're in your younger years, it can be kind of difficult to focus on other things and have a balanced life while trying to accumulate wealth. But a big part of this can be um, not just accumulating money, but also retaining it. And a lot of this um, happens through excessive spending, um, not having a budget, and a lot of other things as well. So that scripture is kind of just an opener, and I really like that because a lot of times it can be easy to get um, caught up with just following one thing. So we're going to keep this video um, five minutes, and I just set the timer, so let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to look at the five steps provided by um, Google's AI because they have some really good advice. Um, the first one is, number one, set a savings goal. Number two, create a budget. Three, automate your savings. Four, cut back on unnecessary expenses. And five, find ways to make extra money. So that's quickly all of them real um, like that. And so let's go ahead and start with the first one. So it says... What are you saving for? A down payment on a house, a new car, a rainy day fund? Have a specific goal in mind. This will help you stay motivated to save. So if you don't already, you should have an emergency savings already built. And years ago, it was $1,000. Thanks to inflation and increasing prices, you need to have at least $2,000 in your emergency savings. This is not money you use for pizza. It's not money for fun times with friends. It's money you leave in your bank account in a separate account where you don't touch it unless a serious problem comes up. Let's say your car gets a flat or um, an alternator goes bad or some type of emergency. You cut your finger and you have to go to the doctor um, or hospital. It needs to be liquid and it needs to be um, around $2,000. That should be the minimum. Then the other thing where it says start a savings goal, this also helps with um, whatever you're saving for. If you're just saving money to save, oftentimes you may not actually be saving. You just um, it may get, you know, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow, or some excuse will come up. So what are you saving for um, can definitely help. And the bigger the thing you're saving for, the better, because it will force you to save more, and it'll keep you focused on that one thing um, until you reach your number that you're trying to get to. Number two, create a budget. This is huge. Um, I personally bank with Chase for business and personal, and you can go on the app and actually set your own budget. So for me, I set a budget um, for each category of $100. So travel, food, I just set it, preset it all to be $100. Um, dollars should only be spent for each category, and that's just a base. I'm probably going to have to adjust that for other ones just um, to make sure it's you know accurate. Like $100 a month for food is kind of um, not really attainable. That may be a little drastic because it's too low. You're going to spend you know maybe two. $300 a month on food. That's more realistic. So the third one is automate your savings. Set up a direct deposit from your paycheck to your savings account so you don't even have to think about it. This will help you save money without even noticing. That is an excellent idea. So anytime you get paid on your um, mobile banking app, you can preset it to take out um, a certain portion on the day you get paid. So if you don't get paid on Fridays, well, you may want it to preset on Saturday morning to cut that check in half and put that in savings automatically. Um, when it's auto, you won't even think about it. You'll forget what's happening and you'll just keep living life without worrying, having to save because you know the app is doing it for you. Um, one thing I heard from, you know, someone told me a little while ago is there was a guy that this gentleman knew and any time he made money, he would always cut it in half and put it in a savings account. He saved everything that he, um, he saved half of everything he got. So he lived off 50% of his money all the time. Um, that guy today is definitely very wealthy due to that lifestyle. So lifestyle factors in this a lot. Um, you may think you need to make a lot of money, but you may not actually need a lot of money. It all depends on your lifestyle, your spending, where you go, what you need 
to live the lifestyle you want. If you want to eat out every day, well, then that's going to be an expensive lifestyle. So do your assets support that lifestyle? Number four, cut back on the unnecessary expenses. Take a closer look at your spending and see where you can cut back. Do you really need that daily coffee? Could you cook more meals at home instead of eating out? Every little bit helps. Um, so let's go ahead and jump on calculator. If I spend $5 every day on coffee, and that's uh, seven days a week, that's 35 times four, I'm spending $140 on coffee. Now, that's not even counting taxes. Um, let's go ahead and jump another, let's say uh, $40 for taxes. So I'm spending $180 a month on coffee, times 12 is 2160 right there. So if you ever wanna know how much you're gonna be spending, you oftentimes don't even need to wait till the end of the year. Just go ahead and calculate it by 12 and you'll see where you're at. Um, okay, number five, find, five, find ways to make extra money. If you're struggling to save, consider getting a part-time job or starting a side hustle. This extra income can help you reach your savings goals faster. If you're a guy and you're a teenager, you should start looking into lowing, mowing yards. That's a great way to earn some extra income, walking dogs. Um, if you're a girl and you don't want to mow yards and that's not your thing, well, you can look into doing babysitting, also dog walking. There's so many people out there that have animals and they don't have time to go walk them or feed them or play with them. So um, you may be able to offer your service for that. And if you think you're not going to make money walking dogs, um, you can make a pretty penny doing that um, if you get good at it. So that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.